Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Let me just double check that everything is working. Yep, yeah, looks good. All right. Hey, looks like audio is working. Screen share is working. I hate to jinx myself. It's almost like I did everything. It's almost like I remembered all the steps for once. So, uh, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Um, you know, listen, the trend continues. Swing trading, very difficult, very annoying. Real, quote unquote, real stocks, very choppy, very annoying, but day trading, you know, trading dip and rips and VWAP holds and ABCDs and red to greens on trashy squeezers. Um, it's, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, I mean, I, you know, and I won't spend too much time on this because I think I've been, I think I've been opening with this for several weeks now, but I mean, I get it. You you follow the the you know the the quote unquote mainstream narrative, and you think that you know the world is ending. And then listen, if you look at the S and P five hundred, if you look at your four hundred one k, if you look at your IRA, it ain't pretty. But if you trade the stocks we trade, V E R U. I mean, they don't get much more textbook. I mean, I mean, V E R U had an we had an incredible plan Friday morning straight out of Stock Trade Advisory. Remember, go to Stock Trade Advisory. I'm I'm only on YouTube on Mondays. I'm there every day, okay? I mean, listen, it you, you could have if you had a mediocre trade on VERU on Friday, you could have paid for like 10 years of Stock Trade Advisory, okay? A media I mean, if you had if you had like 10 shares of VERU, 100, 100 shares, okay? If you had 100 shares of VERU on Friday morning, you could have paid for 10 years of Stock Trade Advisory. Hit the link. Anyway, um, so it's, it's stay, I mean, the, the, basically, I'll move on. I'll get to questions, but stay agile, you know, stick to your stops, have realistic goals, and, you know, listen, flat out, if you're trying to swing trade right now, read a book, okay, do something else. Day trading is where it's at. It reminds me so much of when I got started 2007, 2008, okay? And I'm not saying, remember, I'm not a fear monger. I'm not saying we're going to have a crash like we had in 2007, 2008, but it just, fe I mean, back then, you, you were crazy to hold any, anything overnight, and it's a lot like that now. So Steve says, what do you think about save? I hate airlines. Um, yeah, the problem with this is, you know, this is what I call a very newsy stock, N-E-W-S-Y. A lot of you might be familiar with that. I hate these plays where the deal is on, the deal is off, the deal is on, the deal is off. Listen, there's a reason, okay? Think about Twitter, okay? Um, there's a reason I, I, since the, since the acquisition news by Elon, we have never once talked about Twitter since that day. I was excited. I was excited for the fact that I think that Elon could hopefully save the world by fixing Twitter. But remember, we, we haven't talked about a trade since that day Be, because of Look at what's happening in Twitter. The deal's on, the deal's off, the deal's on, the deal's off. You And you'll hear me say this all the time on these acquisition plays. You can't chart that, okay? And longtime members, you've heard me say this. If you're new, I love you. How do you chart Elon saying, oh, never mind, I, you know, the deal's on hold? You can't chart that, okay? And plus, he's, he does it on the weekend. You can't trade it on the weekend anyway. And, and all these acquisition plays are like that. All you're going to do, you'll get lucky. It, it's, it's like trading earn. It's like YOLOing into earnings. Okay? I mean, you guys know the YOLO earnings play. Quite possibly the most degenerate trade out there. YOLOing earnings is worse than shorting low floats. Okay? So... Sorry, rant over, but you just, you can't, I, now listen, if you got a strategy, let, hey, I'm always looking to learn, I'm always looking to grow, I, I, every day I'm trying to evolve, but if you can find a way 
to consistently trade deals on, deals off, buyout plays, let me know. Hit me up in the DMs because I don't think you're going to find it. Um, CLXT. True penny stock. True penny stocks have been kind of hot. Yeah. Consumer packaged foods. Plant. <sighs> Plant spring. I, I, I'll, listen, I'll give them kudos for the corporate BS of the week. Our experience engineering plant metabolism and our proprietary systems to unleash the natural capabilities of the plant the original biological system. By leveraging predictive and analytic tools, we drive down the production. Oh my God. This is, thank you. Thank you CLXT for quite possibly the best corporate BS I have read in, in months. Like literally months. This is almost as good as efficient, inept, timely users. Powered by energistically exploit tactical deliverables and proactively predominate team-driven synergy through objectively embracing just-in-time catalysts for change. No! Short it or ignore it. I got to save that, though. CLXT. Well done with the best corporate... BS I have seen in months. What in that? DTST, tiny floats. Four million float, five million shares traded. Quote unquote earnings winner. D this is interesting over 350. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, let's break this down. Uh DTST. Whoops, let me increase my font. And uh puny float, good volume, earnings winner in quotes. Nice breakout over 350. Yeah, this is day. For a day. Lo love the, the Monday morning press release. Um, I mean, you guys see what I'm looking at, right? You get over three. This thing is, I mean, this thing has had hardcore resistance at 350 for pff, six months. You get a dip and rip through 350. Beautiful. I would watch for the chat pump on this guy. Um, considering the float and considering the volume, smells like the chat pump du jour. Watch for that. But, um, keep an eye out for the 9 a.m. chat pump. As always, for noobs, 945 rule keeps you safe, especially... if the chat pump comes in. So love this, probably probably top one or two ideas this morning. And I know I've said it, this is the third time I've said it, but just keep an eye out for the chat pump. You know, don't, Remember the chat pump doesn't blacklist it. It just tells you, yeah. who's that? Who is that? Which one of you guys is hitting the ask? Knock it off, knock it off. We don't do that here, okay? Or is that the chat pump? Let me guess. Anyway, don't hit the ask at 8.40, okay? Wait for a dip and rip. DWAC, everybody's all excited about DWAC today. Bag holders, baggies. Um, I would short a late day DWAP fail on DWAC. 
<gasps> Tim said short of stock. Yes, I did. Ebook pattern. It's over for DWAC. Um, well, wait, wait. I will say this. I'm gonna give myself a way out, okay? It is over for DWAC unless Elon destroys Twitter. <laughs> so, so if, if, if Elon like destroys Twitter by tearing it apart from the inside and Twitter becomes MySpace, Unless that happens, unless Elon self-destructs Twitter, it's over for DWAC. Short, late day VWAC. You got the ebook, okay? It top five favorite short patterns. Anyway, read the ebook. Pixie uh, weekend watch list, and basically a push through sixty nine. Let's say this, in honor of Elon, because we all know Elon is on every pre-market prep. In honor of Elon, we're gonna trade breaks of 69, bro. Not 68, no. Not 70 cents, 69, bro, in honor of Elon. But seriously, squeezes back on through 69.70. So, uh, Pixie weekend watch idea through 69, bro, in a hat tip to Elon. All right, I gotta go over VERU and then I need to run. VERU is, so it's gonna be tough for me. The big thing with DTST is I'm concerned about the chat pump. Love VERU through 14. I think we get a day through, day two squeeze. Um, let me take a peek at Oracle. So VERU, very top of the list for me. DTST, Pixie, uh, SoFi. Um, SoFi is a dip and rip too. So those are my mains as of now. And uh, yeah. So num top, top plays in my opinion, DTST. Buy in pre, sell in pre, unless there's a chat pump, then it's 945 rule. Uh, Pixie through 69, SoFi dip and rip, VRU through 14, and then a late day VWAP fail, fail on DWAC. All right, have a good day, my friends. Check out Stock Straight Advisory. I'm here every day, never miss. I love each and every one of you. Let's grow, let's get better. Let's get smarter, faster, stronger together. 1% a day, my friends. And we don't care about this market crash crap. We don't care about this crypto crash crap. We don't care about all the other bad news in the world because we focus on what we can control. I can't, listen, I can't control what's going on in Ukraine and Russia, it's terrible. I can't control what's going on in North Korea, it's terrible. There's a lot of terrible things in the world. There have always been terrible things in the world, but what we can control is ourselves, our own actions, the circle around us, and we can get better grow our accounts, grow as people. And as we grow our accounts and we grow as people, we can expand our circle of influence until eventually we can solve all the world's problems. Have a great day, my friends. See you next time.